So you've decided to go to trial. And now it's time for you to make another decision. And that is whether or not you're going to testify in your own behalf. You know, one of the most basic human instincts is the instinct for self-preservation. We want to tell our side of the story. We want to be able to persuade the jury to see things our way and find us not guilty. But testifying in a trial isn't like having a discussion with a friend. You're in a courtroom for one thing, which is a very foreign setting. You're being questioned by your attorney. You're being scrutinized by the jury. And when you're done being questioned, a very skilled, experienced prosecutor is going to get up and cross-examine you as well. And you'd be surprised to know how difficult it is to maintain your composure and keep your emotions in check when your very life is in jeopardy. That being the case, you need to recognize that many times it's not essential for you to testify in trial. Your attorney can tell you that through cross-examination of the witnesses, your defense can be brought forward, and there is no need for you to testify in your own behalf. One thing can be certain if you do testify. If the jury believes you, then they more than likely will see things your way. But if the jury doesn't believe you, rest assured that they won't, and more than likely you'll be found guilty as charged. So this decision is one that must be made with all of the potential factors and consequences taken into account. Be sure that you spend as much time as necessary going over this decision with your attorney because it must not be taken lightly and it must not be based on emotion. It should only be based upon what the best strategy for defending you is and that can only be decided in consultation with your attorney.